For day four introduction, this is just a review of can, are you able to solve these different equations using so, sine, cosine, tangent. So what I'm going to do here to get x by itself is that I am multiplying both sides by 18. So this would say 18 times sine of 43 degrees close the parenthesis, enter. It does say round to the nearest tenth, so 12.2 would become 3. So 12.3. Okay, in part B, I would multiply both sides by 64 since that's my denominator. And I would get 64 times cosine of 35, close the parenthesis, and I have 52.4. Okay, for letter D, to get rid of my denominator, I multiply both sides by X, and we get X times sine of 30, equals 14. So now we divide both sides by sine of 30 and x would be 14 divided by sine of 30 and that gives me 28 degrees or sorry just 28 side length. Okay, uh, letter E. Oh, that should be A, B, C, D. <laughs> so we're going to multiply both sides by X. And we get X times tan of 16 equals 28. Now, we need to divide by tan of 16 and get... 28 divided by 10 of 16 degrees, close parenthesis, 97.6. Okay. For these, because X is the degree, the angle measurement, you're doing the inverse. There's that word that's important. So it's saying x is going to equal the inverse, so sine inverse, and then our fraction 8 twelfths. So I'm going to clear it. I'm going to use second sine, and then put my fraction in 8 divided by 12, close the parenthesis, okay? So I put an extra plus sign on there in accident. So let's clear that out. Second sine, 8 divided by 12, close the parenthesis. We get 41.8. And that would be degrees. Okay, so part B, we're going to do x equals the inverse of cosine and then 15 divided by 35. So second cosine of 15 divided by 35, close the parenthesis, and it's 64.6 degrees. Okay, last one. X equals the inverse of tan fraction 9 29 so second tan put in 9 divided by 29 and we get 17.2 so that was just practicing can you solve for X when the equation when you have the equation set up correctly